Good morning. We are here in front of 1308 Flamingo and it is early in the morning. Well, nine o'clock. It's not that early, but it's very quiet here. The road right behind, as you mentioned, is Germain Road and it is a fairly busy road, although the section of road is right in front of Campo Verde High School. So, uh, it's not generally used by a lot of commuters, but the school traffic uses it. So you can see here, there's a four car garage and the windows here are the garage windows. And then you have quite a bit of privacy coverage from these cypress bushes here in the front. The walkway to the front door from the curb from the street is graced by this cute little gate. Otherwise, there's really no walkway from the driveway to the front door because the people who live here probably go through the garage. But here is the stack stone facade in the front and the front porch and the back porch, the patios match. They have this tile that has a pattern on it, you can see, and the large front door is wood, solid wood. Very nice, solid, very tall, eight foot doors. So let's go inside and check it out. One of the things I notice when I first walk in the front door is a lot of natural surfaces here, wood and stone pillars. There's quite a bit of stone detail. The front door is a solid wood door, as we noticed, and up the stairs you'll find this uh, genuine stack wood or field stone feature all the way across here as well. The floor is a solid wood, real wood floor, and so this front entry area, this front kind of a den or receiving area is quite nice and sturdy. The sound in here is nice uh, because it bounces off of these, um, these stones. So that's what I notice when I first come in the front door. This is a, a glass panel that says welcome etched on it. And then as you walk in the front door, this is what you see. You see right before you this foyer with a um, mosaic stone medallion and some pretty travertine tile. And then you see the hardwood in the receiving area here. And also going back to the family room, which we'll go check out in a sec. The main uh, air entrance from the garage is right here. And then there is a powder room right here. A guest bath with this vessel sink and some really nice tile work around the edges. So that is what you see when you first come in and the entry closet. And look, here's Kate. Hello. There goes Kate. So now we're back and we're looking at everything here, all the windows, letting in the light, the dining area, there's a way into the dining kitchen from there, but there's also this dining area here, which is just got a beautiful long countertop window here to the back pool, which I will show you in a minute. And you've got a desk area, you've got an ornate backsplash and some beautiful ornate cabinetry, some nice earth tones. And then you have this butler's pantry right here, which gives you prep area and serving area, some storage, but also a nice walk-in pantry, which is about 12 feet deep. And so now we're back to the front. So you see where we are. Now, if you look up, you'll see these clear story windows here and a balcony area to the big deck, uh, loft, not deck, loft. Before we go up the stairs though to the loft, Let's take a quick look at this outdoor area. 
as you can see, it's um, got a lovely pool and water feature. Let's step outside and you can hear there's some traffic right behind there. And there's the high school right there. Now, if you have your rock water feature going, that's what you're gonna hear. You won't hear this road, but I just wanna emphasize, there's the road. And right now it's quiet. So, middle of the work day, pretty quiet. But if you are during the early morning drop off at school or the afternoon pickup, you're gonna have a little bit of traffic. Weekends are gonna be quiet. But that's your traffic there. There's your neighbor, single story house. So that's nice and quiet. Neighbor on this side. And you have some fruit trees, a nice fire pit there. And this little fire pit here. There's a gas grill out here. And again, your water feature. here. There's a drain here which is nice to have. So if the water splashes in, it's got this nice canal drain here and the open French door to the master suite. And these are the windows that you see when you come into the front uh, or the main family room area. The main family room has a fireplace, quite nice, ceiling fan, this nice coat closet here. And here's a master bedroom with its bath and the tile medallion on the floor. Here's the tub with this stylized and textured garden tub. It has um vanity and a sink for both his and hers right here as you can see and it also has this shower has a walk-in closet with some high shelving there and the wood flooring in here travertine on the floor in the bathroom and wood so this is the master bath. Also the door that leads to the back patio as well as the backyard. So that is just off the kitchen and another nice room that's near the laundry room here is ooh, this bedroom. The fan is really going crazy there. But it's a really nice um, Suite. So bathroom and bedroom right here. Fully equipped with a closet, standard size closet right here off the main hall. And then an entrance door from the garage here. Let's see, here's one of the two car garages. So there are two, two car garages. And this is one of them. And then the other is um, in the front hallway where we saw earlier. So there's that. And we have the light fixtures above the island. Pretty fixtures. Now let's check out the loft area. As you come up the stairs, you'll see these lights and some nice light fixtures as well as some natural light coming in through the clear story windows and the stairs are split so you come up and then last few steps 
to this area, which is a nice large loft with lots of windows, two ceiling fans, and off of that loft is another open kind of a, maybe a computer desk area, a homeschool area, or an exercise nook. So this is about six feet with another eight feet here. So from end to end, yeah, about 14 feet, about 10 feet wide. And then the hall bath right here and double sink vanity. And then right in this closet is the shower and the toilet areas. And then two bedrooms on this side. And these bedrooms look out to the front here. And you can see the front, uh, so the parking for the sidewalk. Then you can, oh, there's the closet, standard size closet. You can also see the other bedroom here that has standard mirrored closet doors. And, oh, yeah, very good. Uh, natural light coming in and now as you go back out from this area to the main open loft area there are two more bedrooms and another bath so again double sink vanity nice shower tub and then a bedroom here that looks out to the back. And there goes the truck. And the hall has a console area, which is nice. And then finally this other bedroom. So four um, bedrooms that are defined rooms upstairs, two downstairs. One is a master, one is an ensuite with its own bathroom downstairs. Then upstairs is a large loft area here that is quite large. It's probably, I don't know, 25 by 35 feet. And then this loft area over here, which is another 10 by maybe 14 feet. So those are two bonus areas in addition to the six bedrooms, two of which are en suite with their own bath. So that is the house on Flamingo. I hope you enjoyed this tour. And if you have any questions, let me know or ask Kate. We'd be really glad to talk to you about it. And I hope you're having a great day.